there is urgent need for diversification of the economy as we can no longer rely solely on oil revenue. Our aim, therefore, in providing support to farmers is to tap into the huge job of potentials and food security that agriculture provides. In the last two years, Governor Mukhtar Ramalangiero has put in place agricultural support programs as part of government effort to reposition agriculture and restore the lost glory of the sector. The implied effect is to create avenues for jobs and to boost food production. To achieve this, the Kaduna State Government is focusing on the provision of fertilizer and other farm inputs at subsidized rates, as well as making loans available to farmers at concessionary rates. This year, the Kaduna State Government, in collaboration with the 23 local government councils, procured and distributed more than 20,000 metric tons of assorted fertilizer. The fertilizer was sold at 60% subsidy to farmers. For the first time in the history of Kaduna State, over 10,000 metric tons of assorted fertilizer, chemicals and hybrid seeds were shared to farmers free of charge. Kaduna State has also keyed into the Growth Enhancement Scheme or GES in partnership with the federal government, which is also yielding positive results. The aim of the scheme is to increase farmers' access to fertilizers through the use of mobile phones. Agricultural products serve as a major source of raw materials for agro-based industries. An example of such is the Ikara Food Processing Company Limited, located in Ikara local government area. The company was established to process tomatoes into paste, amongst others. The people of Ikara and other neighboring local governments who are predominantly tomato farmers are happy over the resuscitation of the company because they not only have a ready market for their produce, but they also have value for their effort. The company had been dormant for nearly two decades until the advent of the administration of Ramalan Yero. Under the industrial resuscitation drive, the Ikara Tomato Paste Company was revived and leased out to a foreign company through public-private partnership. The lease agreement that was signed today should be strictly adhered to for the benefit of both parties in the agreement. As you settle down to do business, I enjoy you to live peacefully with the host community who are mainly farmers. Really, really inspired by your vision and the vision of transforming agenda of this Kaduna state, what you are cheering for the leadership. In the same vein, government signed a 2 billion naira agreement with the Bank of Agriculture and the Bank of Industry. It is a counterpart funding arrangement in which the state government is contributing 500 million naira to each of the banks. Our main target is to develop the economy of the state. And it is our hope that Kaduna State will be economically independent. We don't want to wait until when we have a federation account to survive. In terms of development, by the time you cover agriculture and SMEs, you've done all that there is need to do. This epoch-making occasion, Your Excellency, therefore marks an important milestone in the annals of the socio-economic development of Kaduna State. These funds are presently in the accounts and they are available and we are just tidying up on the uh, requirements for accessing these facilities. We hope that uh, by the time we do the flag up, which is coming up very soon, and by the time, like I told you, we have done envelopes, each local government will get equal share of the funds. Governor Mukhtar Ramalangiero is many things to different people. 
the consensus, however, is that within a relatively short period of time, he has significantly touched the lives of the people of Kaduna State in so many different ways.